Are you sure we're not lost? No. Is this your house? Yeah, Dad is a... He was born at the right time. Is anybody home? My brother, probably. You have a brother? Oh, hey. Dad told you to not bring guys here anymore. Is he here? No. So why do you care? Come. He'll be mad at you again, and this will backfire on me. What do you think? It's a little bit different from what I had imagined. Yeah, my dad prefers everything to be more practical, but I chose duvet myself. Come on, don't be shy. And what now? I will show you something. See this? Well, that's nice. And this? Vanishing point should be a little higher. I'm just getting started, you know. Oh. What's that? It's my father. Dad has arrived. You have to hide. Where? Run away. To the wardrobe, maybe? Hi, Dad. Hey, is anyone here? Of course not. Can I go in? Sure. My good friend is downstairs. I have to discuss something with him. You don't want me to go downstairs? Yes. Is everything okay at school? Did you took your meds? Yes. Are you sure? Get out, you mother... What are you looking for? Thorn in my shoe. Hello, you can open, my friend. I won't do anything to you. I'm here, Dad. Oh, Ryan, I'm sorry, son. Can you don't go downstairs? My friend just... Yeah, I know. A new hoodie? No, it's very old. Indeed. Thanks. Because of you, I have to stay here until they leave. You coming with us? Why? Be a good boy and don't do any problems. What about my groceries? They will wait here. Don't worry, no one will steal them. Where are we going? Am I accused of something? We're here. We meet again. Good day. Now it's a good evening, I guess. Do you know who I am? Yes. My friend, no you don't, you don't know anything, because if you knew, you would never want to be involved with anything that I have, and yet here you are. Well, they brought me here. You think you're funny? I'm sorry. You see, princess, the problem with you is that you are not very smart. I saw a program on TV recently, some 4 I egghead was talking about how did he put it? Comfort and access to information? Or something like that, and why young people use it at the last minute instead of acquiring knowledge in advance. And you were just like that. You didn't ask around, who am I and what I can do. You just do the unknown and think everything will be fine, but you will face a giant wall at the end. And that wall, sweet cheeks, is me. Long story short, I invited you here to give you good advice. It's about Eva. She's a pretty girl, glamorous. I know why guys might like her. But she has a bad temper. She's dating you just to make me angry. Another little whim of hers. You're her new toy, but you're nothing to her. You don't have the habit of success. You're one of those people who spend their whole lives on an island of fantasy called, Someday I will, mistake, you never will, you don't have the balls. So you won't date her. So yeah, without further ado, you will part with her, but not right away, we don't want to break her heart. Let her know that maybe you two aren't right for each other, I don't know, maybe don't answer a few calls from her. And if I find out that you wanted to fuck me over and did something else to her before breaking up with her, then believe me, I have a couple of guys here that you will do exactly the same thing that what you order my daughter to do to you, understand? Yes. Nice, we have an agreement. Just remember, don't break her heart. What? You want me to drive you home? You want to smoke? No thanks, I quit it. Take it? Don't be stupid, listen to what he told you. You owe me a cig. <laughs>